All right, so we'll simplify this one, and then we'll find all the restrictions for the domain. Uh, if, if what you prefer is to find the restrictions on the domain first, that's great, and it'll still work. All right. So here I've got two different denominators. One is x minus 5, and the other one is x plus 5. So all I'm going to do with these types is since I've got two binomials here, I'm just going to multiply one denominator by the other denominator. So in other words, here on the left, I'm going to multiply that by x plus 5 in the numerator and denominator. So again, the reason why I have to do it to the numerator and denominator, and I may need parentheses here, is because then I'm multiplying essentially by 1. So if I rewrote this one, I would have x plus 5 times x minus 1 all over x plus 5 times x minus 5. Uh, if you multiply those, it's not really going to make any difference. So I'm going to subtract this from uh, this other denominator needs an x minus 5 to multiply. So I'm going to multiply x plus 2 by x minus 5 as well. So that gives us x plus 2 times x minus 5 over x plus 5 times x minus 5. We have common denominators, so we can just combine the numerators. And I've got uh, x Oh, by the way, at this point, um, since we factored everything out, what we need to do is multiply the two binomials so that we can find like terms to combine. Because right now we can't really combine x's and numbers or constants. So right here I've got x squared minus x plus 5x minus 5. So simplified, that gives us, I'll just write the whole thing, whatever minus a 1x plus the 5x minus 5. Is everyone okay where that came from? Why do you have to do that? Again, sorry. Uh, the reason I'm going to do that is so that I can combine uh, like terms in the numerator. So I'm going to do the same thing with the red right here. So... And you can't cancel out anything from the denominator and the numerator. And this was minus, that came from this minus right here in purple. So I got x squared minus 5x, oh sorry, this is in parentheses by the way, since it's being subtracted, and then I've got a 2x, and then minus 10. The denominator we're not going to worry about yet to multiply these, just because in case we can factor out whatever we subtract then something may cancel still. Alright, so the next step in this would be, well, I guess I would actually distribute the negative 1 here. So that gives us x squared minus x plus 5x. These are all the same, by the way. Minus 5 minus x squared plus 5x minus 2x plus 10. So we see that all that did was change the operations or the signs inside that green parentheses. And we still have x plus 5 and x minus 5. All right, now I'm looking to combine like terms. So let's identify those. I've got an x squared, and then I've got a negative x squared. That means they're going to cancel out. Okay. On the other hand, I've got a negative x plus 5x, that's 4x, plus 5x is 9x, minus 2x, that gives us a 7x in the denominator. And then here I've got a negative 5 plus 10, which would be plus 5. And all this is over that x plus 5 and the x minus 5. Now the last thing we should do is find restrictions on the domain. So in the beginning we had x minus 5. 
and we know that can't equal zero so adding five to both sides we see that x can't equal five but then we also have this x plus five so x plus five also cannot equal zero subtracting five from both sides and x cannot equal negative five either so what we see there in blue and red boxed in would be the restrictions on the domain. And that, that came from the very beginning function too.